Alright, we got a whack ass D Reaper profile today. This is the one that I played in the 1k event and I did manage to sneak uh, top 4 with it. We didn't play to, you know, guarantee who was 3rd or 4th, but all you gotta know is this got top 4 and it was hella good. Spotted these mystery 4 cards. I want you to guess what these are at the end of the video. We will uh, show you what they are. And of course, guess how many searches there are because that's always a fun game to play. Alright, let's get into the deck profile. All right, here is the card by card. Of course, we've got four mom. I don't need to talk about that. The games where your mom dies uh, to like Black Ball Greymon shenanigans, you do normally lose. So better to just scoop those games up, I feel. Here is our search account with our deck count. If that helps you to, um, you know, take a guess at how many searches we've got right here. Let's leave that till the end. We're gonna go through all the mandatory cards of this deck. X anybody, you gotta play it some of those play two. I know you can sometimes clog on it, but I think it's too good to uh, not play it three. You do wanna see it. Obviously four is probably terrible because um, you don't want, you can't use more than one, let's be real. It's good in security, of course, but mainly you just wanna slip it onto mom. Kind of for the same reason we play four bubbles because bubbles lets us accelerate uh, anything under mom. Accelerating searches under mom is the way to win the game. So these cards, I'm mulligan for these going first. Um, then we've got these bad boys, our actual searcher of the deck, Pendulum Feet. And then we've got Jerry, who I mulligan for going second. So I think like there's nothing here. Oh, I forgot this card. Gatekeeper. So these ratios are pretty much determined. Everyone's playing these at four more or less. Some people like cut a Jerry, which I think is stupid. Um, I, I think you play these at this ratio. I mean, this one's probably questionable, but these seem fine, right? These are good ratios. Pretty stock standard D Reaper. Nothing spicy yet. Let's get into some of the tech picks. For this tournament, I played two of the blocker, and honestly, in BT9, like, the blocker I felt was better than, uh, Palladies Head. This card's really good, by the way. Palladies Head is great. But just because it's BT9 and everyone's building and raising, I figured this would be not quite as good. Uh, except maybe in, like, uh, it's even bad in the armor matchup, because it's not DP reduction, it's deletion. So, it's not that great in the armor matchup either, which I was a bit worried about, but we've got a card to deal with that later. Um... So anyway, Creep Hands is great in my actual pure D Reaper list. I actually play four copies of this now. Because I think in the stack meta, you gotta play four. Like, it can save your life and it can just swing for a check as well. Um, super good card, super good. Um, so yeah, I, I really rate this. Play play more of this, play more of this. Because only a block on your opponent's turn too, so it doesn't die to stupid shit from Armor Rush's uh, Red Rocket in, uh, Fire Rocket, sorry, in security. All right, tech picks, I played two of this guy. Uh, this guy just says Rush. He's kind of like a mini version of Reaper. Uh, obviously, when you're at seven memory, what I what are seven searches underneath mom? What I found was really good was playing this for free, swinging, and sometimes it would check like a mega death, and then I'm like, great, now I can go into this and swing for the rest of the game, right? Um, it, it was just very safe, and sometimes I was rushing my opponent down, and I didn't need this. And I guess that's the other aspect of Mother D Reaper. You can rush people down by just playing like a zoo deck. Uh, by swinging with all your like pen feats to turn off you play them and stuff Sometimes you give your opponent a lot of advantage with tamers and memory boost and sometimes you just win the game So sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuit some decks you got to go fast and I found this guy was really good at two uh, In my actual list. I've cut up my pure like the Reaper list. I've cut it down to one um, So yeah, this card I just play as another searcher uh, But for the purpose of this list which was the top eight list or top four list of grimdark uh, I'm just gonna leave that as a second copy of Hornet, but yeah now, this is a bit weird, but I only played two Reaper, mainly because I had two of uh, this guy, which was kind of like a pseudo mini Reaper, and I was really just rushing people down with the zoo style deck rather than getting to this. Reaper was my win con against like security control, and even then I waited till I had both in my hand, and what I did was you get uh, 14 sources under mom, uh, so you can go into your first Reaper, swing, 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 you'll eventually hit some removal, Reaper will die. Uh, except if it's Wyvern's Breath, Lameo, and then you go into your second one, swing, 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 and you normally get game. That's my strat against most yellow-purple decks. You just stall, because they can't really kill you through Gatekeeper normally. Uh, so it's pretty safe, but, you know, I only played two, and I had to see both of them, and I just got lucky. And I knew they were both in my deck, because, um... Well, I actually didn't. I just had to draw into them. Just just a good player, I guess, Kek. Um, you can definitely bump this up in my pure D Reaper list. I play this at four, and we'll get to that right now. So... Here is the four spice. I think everyone knows what it is. It's the card that wins you all the games in the world. Of course, it's four copies of Death X. I only have two though, but I borrowed two for the tournament. So obviously this card w helps you with the armor matchup and a bunch of other matchups. And if you are playing it, that's why I say cut down on this. Otherwise you have way too much high end. 
Uh, you could probably play just two, like I've been playing zero in my current build, and it works just fine as well. If you don't want to play this because it costs too much money, fantastic. Here's your budget option. Another two Reapers, and then you're good, right? Just, just play the four Reapers. If you've got a bit of money in the bank or you've already got your Death Xs, I would highly recommend playing two of them and maybe just a third Reaper. Um, but if you can go all out and go four or three, uh, I would go for that with uh, just two Reaper. But yeah, I'm finding the pure D Reaper variant is stronger. Like I know Death X is obviously a super oppressive card, but I've found a lot more success, I think at least, playing like a pure variant with four copies of Reaper and instead of the Death Xs, these were two uh, Creep Hands. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know, that's, that's what I found. As I mentioned, BT9, like having the four blockers I found was really good and flipping this back to a searcher I found was really good. Stuff I wish I kind of discovered before the 1K tournament, but I was just so set on Death X being like the most broken card ever. So, you know, that was kind of my mindset at the time. Can you blame a gamer? And this card has to sit in my D-Brigade deck now, so let's go put him back. All right, searches. Let's see how many we were playing. Let's see if you guessed it. There is five. You love to see them. And the games where you see too many, you cry. The games where you don't see enough, you also cry. We've got 15 so far. My boy Cost has been topping with this deck at locals. He's been poggers. Um, and that is 20 searches. There's 21 searches. For the tournament, I did play 21, but I believe in my current pure list, uh, I am I cut down on the rush guy for an additional searcher. Where did that searcher go? There it is. So in my actual list, I am playing 22. It doesn't matter too much, I suppose, but I just thought I'd point that out. 20, if you're at 21, you should be good. I know a lot of lists cut down to 18, cut down to 19, but like, man, you have games where you don't see this and you just lose, like you straight up lose. I figure it's better to have more than to have less because even if you're seeing multiple of this and not the other goons, you can at least just use Mum Effect to play another one for free. Like you can play one for one, play one for free, draw a card thanks to Mum Effect and blah, blah. And then play one for three past the turn, like whatever. You, you gotta take the L sometimes. I've had many hands of locals where I've just had like seven searches in my hand drawn into another one or drawn into Reaper and it's like, bro, what am I meant to do? But anyway, that's the D Reaper deck. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, that's too bad. This deck is so cheap, you can definitely pick it up for like $10. So I always say, don't play the Death X version, just have fun, play the pure D Reaper variant and enjoy yourself. But yeah, if you want some competitive success, maybe slip in the Death Xs. But yeah, super good deck guys, please pick it up. Even if you think it's degenerate, hate the playstyle, give it a shot. You just memory choke your opponent to one all the time and just kill them. And if they can't beat through Gatekeeper, you just win. Like, so many people ask you why you're equipping X anybody, and you're like, bruh, come on, like, read card, mom, mom gets sauce, like, now I did you, now I play stuff for cheaper, like, how does that not add up? And this card probably shouldn't exist, so you'll love to see it. Don't forget, you want a mully for this guy. This guy is an MVP, or, or this guy, when you're going first, when you're going first, you really want to see these with at least two searches. Going second, you really want to see Jerry, where's Jerry at? Going second, I always try to hard play this because people end up giving you four or like three sometimes. And when we get a lot of memory, we don't know what to do. Plus turn one, your mom has not been promoted. Your mom is sitting in the uh, egg zone. So I like to just hard play Jerry. Just pass the opponent's turn, comes back to us, promote mom, tap Jerry, put a searcher on to play a searcher from hand. You know, we got two under there. Otherwise, like you just can't do shit turn one. It's really grim. This deck suffers from going second. So if you've got a Deer Reaper player at your locals, you want to win. You take first every time. I don't care if your deck is going second deck. You take first off them and you'll have a good time because they will not be putting you at one. Anyway, thanks for watching the deck profile. Hope you enjoyed. Later.